Hi guys, I am. Um, I probably look a little bit weird, but I'm right now because I've already done one eye, and um, you can probably tell it's a little bit um, kind of creased and baggy, um, just because I've got. I don't know what causes it, but I have these funny eyes, and they sort of get sore and um, <laughs> extremely baggy quite easy. Um, kind of looks puffy like um, if you've got hay fever or something but it's a little bit worse than that but um, I'm going to do this like strong brown black smoked eye for you all um, I'm going to use my sleek Au Natural palette and I'm going to do a um, this smoky eye using the mattes in here um, first off if I can remember what I did I'm going to prime my mattes Mama, mama, mama. I'm just going to prime my eye um, using my e.l.f. eyelid primer. And then just blend that in. And then on the top row, well, it'd be a bit bottom row, but you know, you have it like, oh, whatever. I'm taking um, that colour there and just gonna pop that all over the lid and up to the brow. And then using the kind of whitey colour at the end, I'm going to take that on the brow bone and then in the corner of the eye. The next colour I use is the dark matte brown here. And then just using a pencil brush like this. I just start working it in from the outer corner into the middle of the eye. All the while extending it upwards to give that smoked look. I blend the two colours together just with my finger just because it's easier and you really want this to be darker this end than this end so when it's dark enough I'm ready to go in with the black from the palette and I'm just going to use my Real Techniques um, Face Shadow Brush for this because it's nice and big so it means I can pop on a small amount and blend at the same time. So I only sort of dip it in because it's take the tiniest amount that you can because it's easier to build up the colour than it is to sort of like have to take it away and start all over again. So I pop it right in the corner, blend in circle, circular motions. And then I'm going to take it in down the crease. And just sort of keep going until the two sides match.
and then I'm going to take the black down on a little smudgy brush underneath the waterline. And then I'm going to smudge that with my finger. The next step is to darken along the top lash line. And I'm going to use my Avon Super Shock Gel Liner because it's really creamy, it's really nice, and it'll smudge quite well. So just line above the lashes. and then blend the all in. And then I'm going to line the waterline top and bottom. I think this needs, I need a little bit more shadow along the bottom, so I'm going to do that now. All the time what you want to try and do is make sure they match as much as possible. Um, then what you want to do is add your mascara. And that's the eyes done. You can add false lashes here if you want, but I'm not a big fan of them, so I'm going to skip that step. Um, so now we're going to sort of conceal and do our foundation. So for my concealer, I'm using my um, Benefit Erase Paste and just a, I think this is the Gilux Crease Brush. And I'm also going to pop that on any problem areas. And now I'm going to use my some kind of gorgeous foundation by Benefit and just use that on a buffing brush by Real Techniques and pop that on the skin. At this stage I'm going to do my eyebrows and they're really simple. All I'm going to take is a angled liner and I'm actually going to take the grey from the palette and start off with that in only areas that are sort of sparse of hairs. and then take the dark brown and just lightly pop that in through. Now, I'm 
I'm going to use the contour brush and I'm going to use this for blusher and for contouring. So for my contour, I'm going to use Sally Henson in Dusk. And this is just their blush actually, but it's really nice colour for contouring on me. Just taking a tiny amount, pop that through the hollows of my cheeks and extend it up round through the temples. And then for my blush, I'm going to use my Stila Cream Lip Colour Brush. Well, it's a convertible colour, so you can use it on your cheeks and your lips. Um, and this is in shade 7 Petunia. I'm just taking a small amount, I'm just going to pop that over the cheekbone. And I'm just going to set that all with a powder, this is the Dream Matte Powder. and just pop that all over the face. And to finish it off, I'm going to do my lips. I'm going to use the Sally Henson in um, Rosy Brown, which is a really nude colour. Just apply that all over the lips. And then just to add a little bit of something different to it, I'm going to take my um, Revlon Lip Butter in Peach Parfait and just because this has a bit of shimmer on it, run that through the centre of the lips. And that just makes them a little bit shinier, a little bit more ditzy and just a bit nicer. So that is my finished look. And I'll see you all soon.